सो टुडे वी हैव एसुस एम थ्री सीरीज ऑल इन वन पी सी विच इज एम थ्री सेवन जीरो टू डब्ल्यू एफ एंड इट कम्स विथ राइजन फाइव सेवन फाइव टू जीरो प्रोसेसर एंड ट्वेंटी सेवन इंच ऑफ डिस्प्ले सो लेट्स डू ऑल इट स्टेट्स एंड सी हाउ दिस ए आई मशीन परफॉर्म्स एंड हाउ इज द क्वालिटी सो हे गाइज वेलकम टू टेक शिवियन लेट्स ट्रैक द डिटेल गेमिंग रिव्यू सो फर्स्ट थिंग्स फर्स्ट द बेसिक कॉन्फ्रिगेशन स्टार्टिंग विद द सी पी यू इट हैज एम डी राइजन फाइव सेवन फाइव टू जीरो प्रोसेसर विथ फोर कोर एट थ्रेड्स एंड सिक्स एम बी ऑफ कैश मेमरी विथ मैक्सिमम टर्बो फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ फोर पॉइंट थ्री की गार्ड्स एंड डिफॉल्ट टी डी पी ऑफ फिफ्टीन वोट एंड दिस प्रोसेसर कम्स विथ इंटीग्रेटेड एम डी रेडियो सिक्स वन जीरो एम ग्राफिक्स विथ टू कोर्स एंड वन पॉइंट नाइन की गार्ड्स ऑफ ग्राफिक्स फ्रिक्वेंसी विथ फाइव टोल एम बी ऑफ डेडिकेटेड एंड एट जी बी ऑफ शेड मेमरी नेक्स्ट इज मेमरी दिस आयो है सिक्सटीन जी बी ऑफ एल पी डी डी आर फाइव रैम विथ मैक्सिम फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ फिफ्टी फाइव a own board ram so you can't upgrade it in the future next about the storage it has 512 gb of pci nvme gen 3 ssd with read and write speed up to 1700 mbps only and you can upgrade it up to 1 tb by replacing the current ssd and last one about network connectivity options it has dual band wifi 6e and bluetooth 5.3 for faster connections so this is the basic configuration now i'll show the performance scores i already tested by run the benchmark software on this aio pc so the first one is pc mark 10 gives it 4101 3D Mark Time Spy overall score 583, Cross Mark overall score triple eight, and Cinebench R23 gives a single core CPU score double one three five, multi core score four double zero nine, and Geekbench six single core score is one three nine three, multi core score three nine six zero, and the last OpenCL GPU score four six eight three. So the performance scores are looking quite good, but now we're moving to the real-time performance part, the gaming test. Starting with the GTA 5 with full HD resolution and medium graphics settings. You do some jobs for a fool, develop a little uneasy relationship, and then they ask you to do something above and beyond. You fall out, fools get capped, and then you start all over again with some other fool. Where the fuck you get that from? That ain't my life, dummy. We can't take no cops for this shit. And watch that shit, homie. You slip and fall. As you see, 60% of CPU and 100% GPU uses 70 degree of temperature and 8 GB of RAM uses. It comes out with 40 FPS of frame rate. And when I play GTA 5 on 720p resolution, the frames comes out are 50 to 60 FPS, and the gameplay was smooth. In the next, I will play Sniper Elite 4 with 720p resolution and medium graphics setting. So the static shown as CPU uses 30%, GPU uses 100%, and 60 degree of temperature, and 8 GB of maximum RAM uses. The frames comes out are only 30 FPS. So this is the gaming test. I can't play any other game on this AIO because the gaming performance didn't meet my expectations. So this is the performance part. Now moving to the physical overview. Starting with the display, it has 27 inch of Full HD IPS Anti Glare Wide View Display with 215 nits of brightness and 100% sRGB of color accuracy. With 16 is to 9 aspect ratio, 75 hertz of refresh rate, and 91% of screen to body ratio. And this is a TUE Reliant certified display, so you can. Work on it for long hours. Your eyes didn't strain. And on the top of the display, you get a 1080p Full HD webcam with privacy shutter and AI noise cancellation dual array microphones. And for sound output, it has bottom firing 6 watt advanced bass reflex stereo speakers which supports Dolby Atmos. And this AIO comes with a sleek size wireless gray keyboard and a wireless optical mouse. And this AIO PC comes in black color with good build quality with a normal metal stand and powered up with a 90 watt of AC adapter. And this AIO PC comes with all the ports you will need. In the back side you get a USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type C port, a power jack, a RJ45 LAN port, one HDMI out port, one USB 2.0 port, three USB 3.2 Gen 1 port, and one HDMI input port. And the power button is on the bottom left from the back side. And from the front side at bottom right corner you get a USB 2.0 port, a headphone and microphone combo jack, and a mode button. So you can use this AIO PC's display as a monitor with the HDMI input port and switch the input with the mode button. So this AIO comes with Windows 11 Home single language and Microsoft Office Home and Student 2021. And this PC also have the My Asus app on the home screen. You can see the system vitals and system information. 
and this is the warranty information and in the device setting you can change the fan profile to standard from the performance mode AI noise cancellation microphone modes AI clear voice speaker modes sound modes with Dolby Atmos support and color profile like splendid vivid normal eye care modes and connectivity options priority next in the system diagnosis you can diagnose all the problem you faced about the system like blue screen error system not responding slow boot time slow system wireless connectivity problem driver error you can check up all the options and in the last system update you can update your system drivers and my asus app or bios update for windows so guys this is all about this asus m3 series all-in-one pc i talk about with configuration benchmarks performance scores and quality the performance scores are good but the gaming performance was not that good with 100 percent of gpu uses so you can't use this pc for high-end graphical tasks but you can use this pc for home and official uses and study purposes because the display is awesome with high refresh rate good color accuracy and eye care safety and budget of this AI pc cost up to 53,000 in online and offline stores but in my opinion you can purchase it up to 50,000 with offers and discounts the best buy link in the description so this is it in this video you can share your queries and thoughts in the comment section i'll meet you next video with any other new device i hope it will helpful for you thanks for watching have a nice day bye